I was like, where's our faces? I can't see us. I didn't switch over. Oh, wait. You guys need to talk. Talk really quick. You need to change. Okay, hold on. You need to change the movie, too. Oh, crap. Okay, girl. Host the show. What do you mean? What do you mean, host the show? Dude, you literally hosted the show multiple times now. I'm stage fright. I'm stage fright. I am the embodiment (laughs) of stage fright. (laughs) Dude! What are you doing? (laughs) Don't yell at me. Somebody else host the show. (laughs) Yo, welcome back to Sooner or Later. It's a Sooner Okay, never mind. I didn't know we were going to have fucking (laughs) dead wood hosting the podcast. James, you got it. Go for it. All right, he's just yelling at everyone. Clip a little joke. That's yeah, untrue. Do not touch true. <laughs> Wait, what? Whoever wins, win, lose, win. No, I changed but... the title. Oh, all right. So welcome back to Sooner or Later TV. This is episode sixty-seven. Uh, so we're doing a Sooner review of Malignant. Holy shit! It's like you guys have never heard the opening of the show. None <laughs> of the three of you. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Sooner or Later podcast. I'm your host, Joey dude, Gavada. We, you asked the us unseen. to do something. We fucking tried, dude, and now you're yelling at us. No, you guys did not try. You know, Eric, maybe you tried. The other two did not try. Right, James you know, was the best out of us all. James was. James James hosted in his own style, but we need to refine that style. <laughs> nah, he was in his comic book mode. He was in his comic book mode. I literally did it the way I do mine. <laughs> and you know what? It worked. <laughs> yeah, kind of. This week, I'm joined by the mother of horror, Alex Medina, the movie sommelier, Eric, mm. Mm. and the comic book guru, James Lopez. Oh, nice. Like James said, this is episode 67, and we're reviewing the HBO Max premiere, Malignant. Does anybody HBO have a synopsis? Warners. Oh, I got you. Hold on. It could also be seen in theaters, but um, watch out. No, don't see it in theaters. Do not. If you got HBO Max, just... alert. <laughs> I saw yeah. it in theaters. Don't see it in theaters, dude. Okay. Did you really? No, yeah, no, no. I'm saying. Oh wait, you saw it in theaters, Eric? Yeah, I saw it in theaters. Oh, I'm interested to hear how you felt about it. Then go ahead. Oh, bro. I got a story. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Um, I thought we said we're no longer watching horror in uh, theaters because bad experiences. I yeah, thought... Eric's wild as hell for that. <laughs> I thought there was a consensus on that. There was. <laughs> go ahead, girl. Paralyzed by fear from shocking visions, a woman's torment worsens as she discovers her waking dreams are terrifying realities. Damn, what a fucking synopsis, boy. Short ass synopsis, dude. I mean, uh, sure, that, that was is hard. kind of what the movie is. I kind of. Wow. All right, let's just get into it, dude. Cause you can watch it on Tubi for free. What? HBO what? Max with a subscription and Sling TV with a premium subscription. I don't know about that. <laughs> it's probably Tubi, but you have to add the HBO Max. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I have I sense. have Tubi, and I don't have to add anything to it. Did you? Okay, are you watching Malignant as we're speaking? No, but I've watched other things on Tubi. <sighs> but yeah, so but this it, thing it came out two on. days ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like this is a brand new movie. So Tubi has regular movies for free, like, but then it also has, like, I'm sure it has add-ons. Like, same thing with Prime. Like, you could add on, um, right. like, other It says stuff. Tubi, watch now free. So watch it, bro. Watch you got it. Tubi. <laughs> yeah, click it so we I don't know. know what the and problem is. Yeah. Because if so, I'm going to go watch it on Tubi with ads. <laughs> well, I watch this shit in theaters, and I, first of all, you know, I was, I was comic book shopping that morning, you know, and I was Fair like, enough. oh, shit, I can make it to this show. I zipped over to town, across town. I walk in, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Trailers just started awesome. I didn't miss shit, because it was close. And then I was like, okay, this is a weird, like, uh, Jesus music trailer. And I was like, all right. And then Ghostbusters, and I was like, oh, this is my shit. And then another, like, Jesus movie thing, and I was like, this is kind of weird. Right <laughs> this is kind of weird for this, this movie, you know? Maybe they're just making, you know... I don't know. And then another Jesus thing, and I was like, "All right, what the, what the fuck movie theater am I, am I in?" I was in the wrong fucking theater. So, no, no, what? So I, I was like, oh, "I'm out of here." So I, then I went to the actual theater, and I walked in as soon as uh, they framed up at, uh, at the house. So I completely, oh, I completely no. missed. I completely missed the intro. So did you rewatch first, it on Max? Yeah, I rewatched it okay. when I got home. Okay, good. And. I, and uh, 
I, I basically the, my the first shot I walked in on was she was sleeping. So I oh, you missed the weirdest part of the movie, dude. Yeah. What movie was playing in that original theater? I have no clue, dude. I didn't. God's I not didn't dead. Check. Four. <laughs> It's some some type of Jesus religion. It has to be, yeah, I was like, because normally the trailers kind of go with whatever type of movie you're watching. Yeah, I was like, man, they're really hammering on this Jesus theme. <laughs> well, I'm all for God or whatever, but don't shove it down my throat. Uh, but I, th ask everybody when they saw the I think it's better the way I saw it. <laughs> like in James, theaters? when did no, you see like, the movie and where? Uh, so I saw it yesterday at home uh, while I was uh, laying in bed. I saw it at like 8.37 when I started turning it on. Hey, yeah? I yeah. cracked open a little bottle of wine. I was, I I was trying to oh, get fuck! boopy. I was hoping. I was honestly, I was like, okay, let me watch this in a more, like, you know, darker setting. So maybe it'll be scary. Spoiler alert. I didn't find this movie scary. I don't know that anybody did. There were like parts that were kind uh, of like unsettling. There was one scene that like startled me, like um, the dryer scene. But outside of that, I didn't really get startled. Eric, when did you see the movie? He just said it. I know. But, I saw uh, it yesterday yeah. at like it was a four forty showing. <laughs> Damn, in the middle of the day, dude. Just because I didn't feel like Joey going home and then oh, coming out. back at night. Last Fair night. Enough. At like ten o'clock at night. Late as fuck. We put this movie on. It was so weird. He fought me on it too. Dude, I wanted so bad to go to sleep. Oh fuck! The camera broke oh again. My God, Joey. Like I wanted so bad to go to sleep, and yeah. she just wouldn't let me. And so we watched it. And I don't. So we're gonna almost... watch it in the morning. What? We're gonna watch it in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you why? 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 It's only like two hours. I don't like watching movies right when I wake up in the morning because that's what he likes to do. I love that. I, it depends on the movie. Like, I would prefer yeah. to watch a horror movie at night. Like, if it was yeah. a fucking rom com, I'll watch it. Dude, but these, in the these two dudes are fucking veterans, dude. They could be the scariest movie alive. They would be like, yeah, it wasn't shit, you know? I mean, yeah, that's true, though. <laughs> so, this um, movie literally wasn't shit. It was. This movie was fucking hilarious. I'll tell you what, dude. I didn't know. I watched it in theaters, and there was dudes next to me, total bros. Jerking off? And they were laughing. And normally I would have been pissed, but I was like, dude, this is legit funny. <laughs> it, dude, this movie reminded me of, like, Brightburn meets Blade 3. Like, meets like, what? Blade 3. Blade, Blade 3. 3? Yeah. What? Why? Because, like, so, the action sequences, first of all. Um, yes. But... This is the weirdest Resident Evil reboot. It's the best Resident Evil reboot, yeah. reboot okay? <laughs> it ended Resident Evil movie going to be good. Um, <laughs> I, I was so confused with the action sequences in this film. Like, one, uh, it looked kind of shitty, but then it also like, looked good shitty. Like, they were going for that, so I don't know. It has I'm a... It has a 75% on Rotten Tomatoes and a 51% audience score. Oh, audience hates it. Critics it doesn't have it. a lot of reviews, though, by critics when I was looking at it, though. It's like, what, under 100? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I think it was like 79 or something. Does it like say that. that on here? It should. If yeah, you click on the critics, it should say it. Oh, it just says 73 reviews under Tomato Meter. Yeah, that's not a ton. Yeah. No. I mean, we should but like, go over production, right? I'm, yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, here, let me look it up. That's why I think it's so high. I think if you have, uh, get another 100 people in there, this movie drops to 50%. You think so? I think this movie does what it wants to do very well. I really enjoyed the trailers for this movie. I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a fucking banger. But the trailers, I like the trailers of this movie, but then when you watch the movie, I don't feel like I'm watching... Like, the trailer? <laughs> yeah. Like, this I, the cinema score totally for this different. movie is probably ass. Has it's probably an F. Halfway through this, I was like, I don't know what this movie is trying to be. You mean the movie directed by James Wan with the screenplay by <laughs> Akila Cooper and with the story by James Wan, Ingrid Bisu, and Akila Cooper, produced by James Wan and Michael Clear, cinematography by Michael Burgess, edited by Kirk Mori, music by Joseph Bishara, production companies are New Line Cinema, Starlight Media, My Entertainment Inc., and Atomic Monster Productions, distributed by Warner Brothers, release date of September 10, 2021, with a runtime of 111 and 11 minutes, on a budget of 40 million, already it's made 15.2? <laughs> <laughs> Yeesh! 
That's because people are probably watching it on HBO. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. This being an HBO Max release is going to fucking murder this movie. This, Yeah, this movie's going to suffer for it. Mm-hmm. I think it would have made $40 million or at least like 30 and then people would have watched it, and then it might have made money. But now I don't think it's going to make money because that second week's going to be fucking dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The second week is going to make like $3 million. I mean, this upcoming week, bangers are coming out, so no one wants to see this shit. They can get see it at home. What comes out this week? Like uh, Cry Macho, the st- the Clint Eastwood one. Oh, okay. I did see something about that actually. And then uh, his movies are hit or miss. Blue them. Bayou. It's like an art. Like, it's like a artisan films. I don't think those and, movies are considered bangers, Eric. Yeah, I'm maybe just to you. I I out say bangers to me. Yeah, my bad. Um, <laughs> you're right. But like. If this movie was marketed as a B horror movie, it would get an A plus. Because that's yeah. what this was. This is B horror movie schlock. It is shit. It is bullshit. And I loved every minute of it. I think James Wan said, yeah, I did a superhero movie, so I'm going to do a horror superhero movie. <laughs> and this is a villain slash vigilante, but actually I'm just a villain. I think and he just needed a project in between the Conjuring movies. I honest, yeah, I think, well, so Alex made this comment yesterday, and I think it's really apt. This is his acid trip, and he wrote and directed <laughs> the whole movie on an acid trip. And when he sat down at the premiere, he went, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I <laughs> doing, dude? Is he doing Aquaman 2? Oh, uh, he's producing uh, it, I think. Or oh, no, they're not even doing an Aquaman 2. I thought they were doing The Deep. No, that got canceled. Did it get canceled? Yeah, uh, but no, it was like the trench. Um, yeah, but no, yeah, yeah. but um, I mean, he directed yes, the first. He's, uh, he's directing Aquaman too. Yeah, yeah, he directed the first one, Eric. I guess you didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's the same. That's why. Go ahead. Nothing. It doesn't matter to what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, you were just gonna throw some random yeah. facts. I already know it. <laughs> But, like, I think, I don't know, I want to see more projects by him, because now I'm like, man, he did a superhero movie, and then, like, is, I think this is the first movie since a superhero movie. Would you consider and this, has... this a superhero movie? Fuck no, 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 no. He's talking out of his ass. Aquaman is a superhero movie. I don't know what's really movie. superhero yeah, about Aquaman it. Aquaman was a superhero uh, movie, though. But, like, so now he took, like, action sequences that, like, the, the style feels like it's a, like, that style of fighting from, like, The Matrix, or, like... Some kind of, you know... Oh, yeah. It is totally an action movie. It is 150% an action movie. Without a doubt. And I I wonder if he would have still gone this route if he hadn't done Aquaman. I think he would have. I I don't know. Because none of his other movies are really like this. There's like a little mini, like, behind the scenes on HBO. And he's like... He basically says, like, you know, I wanted to do something way fucking different. (laughs) Not your typical horror movie. (laughs) I mean, it is way different. And he pulled it off. <laughs> I mean, he made a movie that is way different than a traditional horror movie. I'll give him that. Look, I really like those transitions where the walls start melting. Bro. Yeah, that was, yeah, those are cool sequences. The directing yeah. of this movie and the cinematography of this movie are 10 out of 10 shit. It is so fucking good, dude. Also, then the you had some pieces? stuff that was, like, shitty looking. What's up? Then you had some stuff that was shitty looking. What do you think was shitty looking? Like when they were fighting in the in the precinct yeah. when they were fighting at the uh, yeah. police offices. The police station stuff is so ridiculous. Like it's so fucking rad, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, this is but sick. In the jail cell or in the open desk area? I mean, yeah, that, open... like, literally the whole yeah. everything to do with the prison is <laughs> yeah. ridiculous. It's like, but I think it's like, supposed uh, to be. It's Probably. Like what's called? Uh, what's that? Uh, the gentleman's? What's the shit called? No, uh, the Kingsman. It it, it turns up. Kingsman in that fucking church where it's yeah, like it yeah very, yeah that fight style is very fucking... <laughs> but like that's not a bad thing though you know like it's really I, not I think it totally takes you out of the movie I I think the first time you see this thing fight though it's like okay I know what I'm in for this this okay this dude's yeah. crazy this thing is a fucking freak of nature like it's the just first the... scene what you call it looked bad which one what are you talking the about CGI yeah. That's all of the CGI movement. look like shit. They spent all yeah. their money on the scene transitions. It looks yeah. like video games. Like, that whole fight scene, like, legit looks like a video game. But also, um, how are you going to make someone who's fighting backwards look real? <laughs> like, there's yeah, no way. It's going to look weird even if it is real, you they know? They could have yeah. put, like, a mask or something on the back of But, it. like, the whole point is that this thing is fighting backwards. 
So it's gonna look strange because they have they're like fighting like this. It already looks strange to your brain, and then right trying to see it on I, film, it's gonna. I look mean, even, I was okay it's gonna be with impossible. that. It was like the speed of it where I was like, "Why is this moving so quick?" But they did. I mean, they explain it later, right? They're like, "This thing is a fucking freak of nature, and when it takes over your body, it makes you a fucking freak of nature." <laughs> and like but that's thing, that's them no, going. They were just that, making them. No, they were just making them go that fast so you didn't tell that the CGI was bad. Which just made I think the it CGI made you, look I way think worse. it made you notice more. Almost. Yeah, yeah. But like, it's so weird though because it's like, this is a this villain did not feel like a horror movie villain. No. It legit felt like it's a Resident superhero Evil, dude. villain. It's literally Nemesis. He has the same fucking trench coat it, on. It's really Albert Wesker, is what it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he might dude, as well have had sunglasses. Yeah. Like, it's very similar fighting styles. Like, if you watch the last, like, Resident Evil... No, dude, Evil... it legit is Nemesis. Holy shit, he has a fucking split down the middle. <laughs> fucking showing. Yeah. But same Nemesis isn't coat. quick like this. Like, no, Nemesis Wesker is Wesker this quick. Yeah. 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 But, like, oh. I don't know. I think if this, if it was the 80s and you went to a drive in and this movie was before Lethal Weapon, it'd be like, this movie's fucking incredible. <laughs> like, this movie's fucking wild. I, I don't know, dude. Every, I would. Like, I think this movie is, like, bad, but it's also, like, good bad is the weird yeah, thing. I, I'm I, most, I think me walking in 10 minutes late and, and proved the movie for me. I think no I showed, way. I no think way. they show too much in the beginning. I think you, they you didn't see they dumbed anything. It down yeah, too but much. I don't think it, I. It I think if you if you miss the first ten minutes, you're not ready for how weird this movie is. The first ten minutes set the fucking tone. You go into that, that and you're like, true. there's some bro Gabriel, and he's doing crazy <laughs> mind shit, and now we're at this woman's house, but and she's a victim I, of abuse. <laughs> I went in thinking, okay, this is going to be a scary movie. This is James Wan, you know? Right. He did the fucking Conjuring. I was ready to get spooked. And, and then, then that, and you never got get, spooked. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it got action. I mean, there was some scary parts, like some jump scares. Like yeah. the classic, you pan left, pan right, and then you pan left again, and there it is, you know? And then someone's <laughs> going to get malignant. <laughs> I mean, there's some fake outs, too, which James Wan is kind of good at, but... But then I was like, oh, shit, who is this? Who's this fucking creature, dude? <laughs> who is this Gabriel-looking motherfucker? And then finally when they did the whole reveal, I was like, no fucking way, dude. I was, like, blown away, man. <laughs> so, like, you not like I was legit, like, 30, 30 minutes of the movie, I'm like, it's either the same person or a twin. I thought it was a twin. But then they did the reveal. And, I mean, it's... Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're saying anything yet, but... I mean, it doesn't matter. You kind of spoiled it already. <laughs> yeah, but, like, it's literally the combination. It's it's both. It's, like, the same person and a twin. Yeah. Like, that's so... I mean, the twist is very obvious. They, yeah. They make it very obvious. He's like, I'm not trying to trick nobody. You're either going to figure it out or it's going to blow your mind. Uh, yeah, I didn't expect, obviously, like, to... Like, I mean, the, the visual effects I thought were pretty cool. It was super creepy, um, the twin. Oh, yeah. It had to have been practical, right? That looked I way too so. good to yeah. not be practical. Animatronic thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was great until they they filed it down. I, well, I don't know if it's because I... Until uh, they what? Filed it once, down. What do you mean? Like you they mean got... when they cut him off of her? Yeah, they took a Yeah, fucking... Spoilers! I mean, they saw him off. Spoilers! Spoilers! <laughs> Yeah, you mean where they literally cut this fucking dude off of her back? They literally yeah. removed the cancer. Remove the cancer. <laughs> Everything but the face, though. Like. Yeah. So you, I mean, you missed the first time they say that, Eric. That's what I'm saying. Like it was, it was a complete re like reveal for me. They, like I didn't get that thing spoiled of Gabriel until it actually happened. <laughs> Yeah, but you don't even know what Gabriel is. I think they do a good job at the beginning of going, okay, there's this thing called Gabriel, and dude is pissed. But you don't know that Gabriel was attached to her, right? No, you, you assume Gabriel's just another person. Right. You think that Gabriel's just this dude who wants to kill like her, a too. Feral, feral being or some shit. Right. I thought they were conjoined twins in a more normal sense. So did I. I thought they were, like, <laughs> attached at the fucking head or yeah. something. Yeah. But then it's like, you should see it, though, because they, like, literally, like, they fucking beat it over the head with her fucking back of the head bleeding. Yeah, the second um, or the second or third time I saw her head bleeding, I was like, ah, there's something suspicious going on uh, here. <laughs> She's a motherfucking killer. Connected in the back, which 
technically sure, but like more of a like a full body thing, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. How do you how like, do you feel I, about this, girl? You're not really talking much about it. I how thought her ears were this? bleeding at first. <laughs> what? Like I knew I they the, were doing it. About it. I it was a movie. All right, somebody did not come to play today. <laughs> Whoa. So like this I knew it was gonna be a movie I'm used to. Right, it's totally something yeah. different. But this is not like you can't even compare this really to other things other than you matching up like four other movies. Like this yeah. is nothing like any other movie. This is legit Resident Evil. What else can we throw in here? <laughs> Dude, I Kingsman mean, because of the fighting style. There's some uh, the body horror is like next level. I would say. Yeah. I think I really like some that. Cronenberg type yeah, of stuff. Yeah, it's some, body some serious Cronenbergian shit. I'm sure you can even throw in some type of Lifetime movie. Oh, this is Lifetime <laughs> out the ass, bro. I love you, sister. Dude, uh, yeah, the first, I'll like the, the abuse oh, stuff about or the whatever. Abuse stuff. Oh, the yeah. abuse, yeah. <laughs> the Lifetime movie. Oh yeah, yeah, I completely flipped over that. I was, I didn't get to meet the boyfriend until after I watched. I came home and then I watched the first ten minutes again. Wait, oh. you didn't see him bash her head in? No, like, I literally... Th that's, that's what activated the thing. Yeah, I mean, he did activate her trap card. <laughs> but I'm <laughs> saying, I think yeah. it's better if you sk fucking skip the ten, 10 minutes, bro. No, dude. You don't need those 10 minutes. <laughs> You're crazy. I think the whole... It, going from... It, I mean, it's a fever dream. Going from the, the lab, where it's like, well, it's time to cut out the cancer. And then fucking jumping <laughs> over to her, and she's at home, it's and she's day. like... She's like, oh, I'm so pregnant. And then he goes, I'm gonna bounce you like a fucking basketball. <laughs> and he popped her. <laughs> like... Nah, I feel like the first ten minutes are like, oh my god, what's happening? It it feels like, I don't know, like uh, kind of like the X Men scene when they're trying to break out uh Wolverine, <laughs> but then it also feels like the scene where Magneto is like his powers are like emerging in uh first class, I think. Okay, I mean, okay. <laughs> there's just I know, so much I like stuff, it. There's so much stuff going on where I'm like. What is this movie? And then when they finally get back to stuff in the trailer where the little girl's like talking or whatever, I'm like, I forgot that was even a part of this movie. <laughs> so I don't know about you, Alex. I don't know what you watched away from me. I didn't see a single fucking trailer for this movie. I went in blind. I didn't know I the what was going to happen. Really? Yeah. Uh, what did I go see? I had seen. I don't know what I seen, but they had played it once. But I don't see too many oh, horror movies, so like they don't pop up. You're gonna much. have to eat that. You are sitting away from it, and it's not pointing towards you. Move, just move the mic so that it's pointing towards you. I mean, because it it's not pointing turn. towards you. Oh my god. I got it. But I, dude, I don't know, man. I never I, saw the I still think the first remove the first ten minutes and opening up on the house, like in fucking uh, The Exorcist. Fuck, it's yeah. nighttime and you're zooming on the house, and then the first shot is her sleeping, and then her husband's sleeping. And yeah, but then you don't know why fuck. he's sleeping on the couch. You don't know why your head is bleeding. You don't need to know what the fuck. You don't need to know that. Yeah, you shit. do. But the thing is, like, it's a it's a total different like perspective. That's like people say uh, in Predator. If you take out the opening scene where you don't see the spaceship, and you're like, oh, you're trying to figure out if it's up what it is or whatever. It's like, sure, it is a different like perspective, but it's like that totally changes the movie, so it's totally different. Like, it makes it way better. You, I, oh, you think Predator is better without the alien no, ship at the beginning? No, not Predator, but Malignant. <laughs> nah. But like almost any movie, you take out the first 10 minutes, it totally changes the movie. Because every, you've I seen mean, everything in a different context. I, I think the twist would have been harder to believe without the first 10 minutes. I, I think if yeah. you remove the first 10 minutes and then the movie runs exactly how it runs, it's like, fucking what? Who the fuck well, you That's exactly my rotation, dude. I was like, what the? I, but I was like, this is crazy. I like this shit. <laughs> but you think, like, I think about the first 10 but minutes, you're get... like. Finish your thought. What? We can also get that information when they do the flashbacks throughout the movie. Yeah, it's yeah just they more explain of a it really shock. good. Yeah. It's, yeah, but it's, it's, just, it's a better it, shock, I think. But you got to think about people who don't have a big brain like you. Dude, this, come on. But, you know, I think the issue though when you do that though, it's like like it's like a the whole like uh psychic type stuff or whatever. Like and even when they talk about oh they have like a psychic bond or whatever, like I mean they share the same brain. I mean yeah. when their sisters in the fucking archives, they explain it super fucking well. Like Oh yeah, they dumb it down for you. <laughs> they, she watches but that's six when the movie's almost VHS over tapes. though. You're like 
At yeah, you got like thirty movie. minutes left in the movie. But that's at legit that point. when shit yeah. pops off. That's like legit when like she's in that jail cell and like. Oh no! That's when the movie jumps the shark. That's yeah, when the yeah. movie is like, all right, we've done action the movie. horror shit. Now it's an action movie, baby. Because as they're explaining <laughs> like Gabriel, yeah, then it's yeah action shit. But like this legit could be the prequel for her superhero movie because now she's like, I got all the powers. Yo, like, she, I can do everything you could do. She picked she that up that whole bro. She went. I can break these cuffs. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you, this thing. Have you seen *Brightburn*? Like, no, I haven't. Yeah. I heard it was bad, so I never watched it. It is bad. Like the hell this movie <laughs> is bad. But it's like, but it's like it does some things where I'm like, are you are you setting up more? But like, is this why? Be universe? Do I like, love you, this? Like legit though, if she put on. She has superhuman strength and speed. <laughs> I think there's gonna be another movie where it's like he comes back. I hope there isn't. I hope James Wan is like. Done. I hope James Wan is like. I'm never doing ayahuasca ever again. What's the, what's another t term for like malignant? What's the <laughs> bad okay. evil tumor? Benign. Benign. Evil tumor Benign. too. Yeah, that's gonna be the next movie. Benign. Benign. <laughs> that's her I mean, superhero that name is Benign. Yeah. Oh my god. 100%. James Wan, hit me up, bro. We could do because, it. Because, like, in the next movie, like, because she says, he's like, I'm going to get out. And she's like, I'll be ready for you. So, like, she, like towards the end of the movie, like, she'll be trying to save the day or whatever. But then he gets out and she has to fight it off while trying to do some shit. I'm telling you, dude. This is some sci-fi channel shit. That's what this saying, is. Yeah, this reeks of the sci-fi channel. Gabriel's going to pop out, find another surrogate. And then yeah, he had that Voldemort head going on, dude. Yeah. <laughs> or he becomes his own person. Oh shit, man! Dude, cause but like he was over... eating her babies, though, guys. Yeah, you know how fucked up that's that is. Sick, yeah. Dude, it only took him three babies to fully take over her, too. Which like... no, it took three babies and her getting her head bounced off the fucking brick wall. Okay, <laughs> dude, she better put a metal plate on the back of her head. Yeah. Also, I'll like, drill some some screws. Like, yeah, just fucking weld no, it you, shut. <laughs> nail gun it. Yeah, and weld it. I don't know, man. You might he might seep out though. You might want to keep that as, as solid. Did, as did possible. she never go to the like a doctor though? And they, like they fucking scanned her, and the, I was like, hey, hey, uh, you have a. Uh... There are some teeth back. Yeah, here. you have teeth and an eye, and you were walked into the like, room backwards. Had an MRI for sure. You would have seen that. I mean, clearly the dude never hit her hard enough to send her to the hospital. Oof. What? Yeah. Hey, I'm not making a joke, <laughs> motherfucker. That's no, true. I, I I'm know. serious. I know. I know. He He's clearly freaking, never dude. hit her hard enough. Well, he just never hit her head hard enough. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. If or maybe she never baby, fell down. Do, you, as do a they kid like do a full body scan? No, probably no. not. Okay. But I mean, she was attacked in home, so I feel like they would have done some type of scan when they got her to the hospital. He, you mean she's bleeding time? from the head? I mean, yeah, she was literally bleeding from. Unless she covered it up, she's like. <laughs> but no, I don't it want like him to get arrested. <laughs> it like covers back up though. Yeah, it like Be opens a little bit and then it closes. Yeah, because we even see it towards the end how it. Which closes. doesn't make any sense because she like rips her skull open. Yeah, which was real weird. I loved it. That scene it got cool me hot. <laughs> I was like, "This is fucking awesome." Although she's just sitting there going. Argh. I mean. Uh at least four know. of those people deserve to die in that prison cell. I don't know. Like, I didn't like how they portrayed our, our people. Oh, <laughs> nah, man, no, man. There was like three for sure. It was the two that yeah. were whooping her, but the other one like pushed her when she got pushed into her. Well, if someone gets shoved into me, I'm shoving them back. And then you get in your fucking elbow snapped. Yeah, but that, all the other women <laughs> died too. I'm fucked if I'm in that yeah. cage no matter what. It's There's true, no true, coming true. out of that. Yeah. I just... My biggest issue, though, was the speed of the character. He was moving fast, it was bro. so fast. He was elite. He was a warrior. You know, my issue was when fucking K went after him in the fucking underground. Bro. I was like, dude, call yeah. back up, bro. Only somebody named Kakoa Shaw would go in after a fucking killer like that. You dude, know why that happened, never though? find anybody else. He has to be Didn't named Kakoa. He, like, Kakoa. himself off of the yeah. fire escape. Dude, he's, he went, this is a bad idea. And then, <laughs> but, like, it's because it's James Wan. All his cops always do that. Dude, his like, cops are pretty bad Like, in the whole Saw franchises, though. they're all like, I'm going to do this myself. Yeah. I Knowing mean, look, there's yeah. a killer. Look at what happened to, uh, what's his name? 
uh, Donald Glover or whatever. Not Donald. Oh no. What's no, his yeah, name? Right. Danny Glover. Yeah, Danny Glover. Oh, He's. Like, I'm gonna chase this saw motherfucker down myself. That was another Dude. scene that I thought looked really bad. Which when one? He was chasing him like underground, and they were going through this. Boards. I thought really that I thought set it piece really was cool. awesome, dude. Oh. The whole underground and the shot of like the them going through the wood, like yeah, shot. I thought I it looked like cool. It. You didn't like it at all. So, it was so atmospheric, I it though. Fake. It was the I like the fog. Um, I mean, of course it looked fake. He's fighting somebody yeah. who's fighting backwards. He's fighting Nemesis, yeah. dude. He's Come fighting on. Tenet. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, he does give you some Tenet. Vibe. He goes Emily. <laughs> 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 Do you guys know who the main girl is, though? I don't. I don't. We've never seen that movie. No. Well, I mean, we have seen that movie. They. I don't think they've ever seen it. What movie? She's a James Wan alumni. Oh, what movie? She was in Annabelle. The first one, the shitty one. She, she was, was the, the mom. mom. Oh no, I haven't seen it. The only thing I've seen is like the flashback of Annabelle in one of the other movies. She was you don't in need Tom Cruise's The Mummy. She's in what? Tom Cruise's The Mummy. I never saw it. I haven't seen that either. It looked bad. Uh, I hear that also goes to action. She was in X Men First Class as Amy. Oh, I've Amy, the movie. the X Men classic character, Amy. <laughs> <laughs> is that like one? Of the, is that the chick he like picks up in the bar? <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> um, I mean, shit. If if we're bored, if we're looking up X Men facts, I guess we could just move forward. This could be a short one. Dude, I really like this movie. Even I say skip the fucking first ten minutes. Director's cut. Hey James Wan, if you're listening, <laughs> just strip those fucking ten minutes, bro. Take them out, that. brother. She was in tag. So she was in tag. Who is she was the she wife? In tag? No, no, I'm looking it up. She's looking it up, everybody. I'm <laughs> No, yeah, she's credited herself on IMDb. Rebecca. So like when he Crosby. he kidnaps the mom, I legit like for half the movie thought uh like. I was like, how does he keep tying up the main character in the goddamn thing? They look but very they, much alike. It, it really threw me much. off. Until yeah. they legit reveal it, I'm like... Because when she falls to the ceiling, I was like, wait, was that her twin? Bro, but that reveal I, is fucking crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah, that was kind of crazy. But, like, that's me just, like, I didn't realize, though, I was like... Because he, like, kidnapped her, so I, like, first, I was like, oh, he kidnapped the main character is what I was well, thinking. Well, I figured... I didn't think it was the main character. I, I did think they looked alike, but I was like... Okay, this lady just has like ties with the doctor because he yeah, needed the phone, right, to call the doctor. Mm -hmm. But like, I was just like, uh, why is he still got this bitch tied up? Like, After what's going on? She says she was adopted. I was like, that's her mom. Oh, really? You like knew? I didn't know for sure until they cut back or whatever. I didn't like. I didn't know she I was in the attic. <laughs> well, you didn't. Oh, kept oh the, well, yeah. There was no she, way. Like, fell through the <laughs> yeah. But when they kept doing the scenes, though, I was like, and it's just like she'd be in one place and not the other. And I'm like, wait, is this how he's controlling her because she's in the attic tied up? So, like, I was all over the place trying to figure out what was going on because I didn't realize that these were two separate characters. Mm. They do look really similar, though. Yeah, they did a good job making it like, oh, yeah, that's totally her mom. Yeah. Uh-huh. I believe it. Um... I forgot what I was going to say. I really love this movie. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that. <laughs> I mean, it's just weird, dude. I don't know. Like, I, as I was watching it, I'm like, I'm never going to watch this again. I want to like, watch this now. I want to rewatch this movie right now. <laughs> Another cool shot was the house when she was running around. And it was like a top down view. Dude, I creamed. I was like, oh, my God, this story's amazing. <laughs> yeah, this shit was cool. Whenever you have like an over the head shot, like panning through a house, oh, it was man. so smooth too, man. So smooth. It was a big ass house. She it. Dude, that house is way too big for both of them. How the fuck they? Yeah. How do they have the money for that house? I mean, they try to pump out three kids, dude. But dude, you know who had a big ass house that was bigger than I expected was old boy that dies on the bed. Like when they're or it was a hotel room, but I was like a big ass hotel room. It, they had like a full ass closet, and it was an apartment, dude. Yeah. Oh, it looked. <laughs> I don't know, but it was like big though. Like when he when he first did it, he's a when doctor. They first though, yeah, man. he's a doctor. He's like a world renowned doctor. Yeah, but like, bro, like you could just had a house. Like, what's the point of? Well, you been world renowned sleeping in a goddamn apartment, looking like a hotel. Just him, apparently. It's, he was trying to dodge though, the dude. malignant, he owns, dude. He owns that level, dude. Come on. Yeah, he owns the whole floor. 
But like when they go in there, I'm like, where the fuck's the room at? Like, there's there's so many different doors in this like fucking house. Yeah, they kick it in, and there's it's like a four bedroom apartment. Yeah, like I thought they're gonna kick in the door, walk there's right in, bitches, he's gonna be dude. dead. <laughs> yeah. He no, he's just trying to trick Gabriel. He's like, if I got all these rooms, Gabriel won't know which room I'm in. <laughs> He'll never know. Scene, He'll never know. The scene I thought was cool though. I was like, damn, he's about to grab his dude by his goddamn ankles, and then nothing happens. I, was I thought like, he was God. gonna cut his ankles. I also thought we were gonna see an ankle cut, and then Some real just, house of wax shit, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then he just stayed sleeping. He went, yeah. I'll get you when you wake up, bitch. <laughs> I gotta wait or, and scare my or he's, sister. He's safe, you know. He's like, oh, I can't get him. <laughs> yeah. So was that tro- <laughs> was that trophy like uh, like some work she did with the with them, or was that's it just a like- trophy that she got from working at Simeon? Yeah. Okay. I, I don't okay. think it I didn't was read necessarily it. with them. I just think it was from Simeon. Okay, which makes sense because I was like, bro, he loves that goddamn sword he made. Yeah. Yo, that shit was tight though. That's a it cool was strong. weapon. It's gonna turn it all around on that it. bitch, dude. It did say excellence on it. <laughs> dude, goes, that weapon was Sam. <laughs> that weapon was uh, very similar to the one of that other horror movie you watched with Ephraim. Like that little that pickaxe so type thing. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of, that's true. I was oh, like, Lord. damn, that's a good weapon. Dude, it just the speed of that weapon too, dude. It yes, covered yes, yes. ground so quick. Watch dude, they picked the weirdest parts for it to get very visceral. And like watching him stab that dude in the face, I was like, "Oh my god, what? I yes. don't need this." The amount of arms I saw pop out, though, I was not ready for. <laughs> it's like that, every that, other that. person's, yeah, every other person, their fucking elbows shot up. Yeah. I mean, it's it's medical grade, so that should cut through bone, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I mean, with the speed though, the speed alone is gonna cut through that shit. You're right he's through bone. He's yeah. a fucking freak of nature, dude. Kurt Angle knows. He knows. <laughs> All right. Uh, Eric, what was your favorite part of Malignant? Definitely the reveal, man. When she get, when as like she's putting in the VHS tapes with her mom. Oh, okay. And then in the jail cell, she's like yeah! ripping her fucking face off. Yeah. I that sh- real quick, that shit was I thought wild. I thought she was dumb for like going there. Like it's like it got dark. I was like, why are you going to this building when it got dark? And then when she heard some noise, but then nothing happened. I was just like, oh well, I guess I saved her some time. It's just a cat. Happened. I mean, but then it makes sense, right? Because we know that Malignant is tied to a girl. Correct. So it's like, oh cool. Well, Malignant's there. I guess she could just walk around all the fucking abandoned build- buildings yeah, that she, she wants. Yeah, she could have never like yeah, she had a gate out of the prison and then go. I mean, it definitely would have been like yeah. Drug addicts and shit like that in that building, like. Nah, that thing was pretty locked down. Dude, how, how'd she no, get in? She it? just walked in. Nah, she, she had to check in at the desk. She was like, <laughs> "Hey, Bob." She's talking to the security <laughs> guard. <laughs> Flashed her ID. Yeah, maybe, but look, the only dangerous person in this universe is Malignant. That's it. Yeah, Malignant we didn't know actually, at that time. and and the husband. Those are the only two Ooh, yeah, people who true. are dangerous. Maybe the old boy Cacao didn't land a shot. <laughs> oh my god, he's the worst shot. He, he went pew, 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 pew. And the, the the doctors are almost portrayed as bad in here, but like they didn't even really do anything bad. Well, to malignant, they were terrible. Yeah. They killed him. <laughs> yeah, but he was trying to like destroy their brains with radios. Yeah, I mean it's I cause mean... they were it's cause he could smell that they were ready to cut. They were like, dude, he popped that boy, that poor security guard's goddamn pacemaker was cool for no reason. Fuck. Yo, that was dope, scene. though. He, my pacemaker is burning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? All right, James, what was your favorite part of Malignant? So my favorite part and my least favorite part is the same thing. It's the, <laughs> I don't know why I hated it, but I loved it at the same time. Is when he's fighting all the cops in the open room where they have all the desks or whatever, just the precinct part. Like, because as it was happening, I was like, man, this shit looks crazy. But also, it's like, this does not fit this movie. But I'm like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's a Matrix it's just shit, so dude. crazy, though. Yeah. All right, Alex, what was your favorite part of Malignant? I really liked when she was coming down the stairs doing her laundry and someone ran past. Yeah, what was with that? It was scary. Was that supposed to be malignant? It was spoopy. I don't know. It was I like, mean, it, it, remember that time I directed Insidious? Yeah, it's the same <laughs> little boy. 
Yeah, there was like same there universe. Was like, yeah. But there was only like two scenes where they're like, oh, it's someone else. Like, and the rest of the time, it kind of leans into heavy, like, it could be her. Yeah. I mean, I also thought they were going to set up a gag where um, a she's gag. in the police station. Like she's a laugh. The, <laughs> she's the, no, she's in the police station. And, like, you know how she was talking on the phone? And for some reason, the shot was like, her face was on the left, and then the mirror was on the right. I thought that Malignant was going to pop out. Of her, the fucking the back of her head or some shit. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, when you see like the husband die or whatever, I was like, oh, this crazy person escaped the asylum. Oh, <laughs> that's what I thought was happening. I mean, he kind of did though, didn't he? He escaped the asylum that was Emily's brain. Well, yeah. no, like I early on, I thought it was the the person from there. I just didn't realize they were connected. Yeah, that they were literally the same person. Yeah, but I 100 percent thought it was the person from the opening of the movie. Yeah. Don't need that opening, dude. What's Take your it favorite out. Part? My favorite part, I think, has to be the the reveal. The whole her ripping her fucking skull in half and him going <laughs> <laughs> like I mean the joint was, snaps are crazy. It was so awesome. Like everything about it. The way that like her bones were cracking so that she could like start running backwards or whatever. Like, if I saw it in real life, if I was one of those prostitutes, I'd have been like bitch crazy <laughs> but like watching it in a movie i was like yes you rip them in half with your toes <laughs> it was just ridiculous uh, uh, yeah at that point you just say like kill me first yeah but hey <laughs> fuck me up put your throat out there cut it i mean the people that got like their head snapped probably the best deaths oh some of, those people, some of those people got their shit snapped then stabbed then they die <laughs> like they got multiple hits on them eric what was your least favorite part of malignant First ten minutes, dude, cut it. <laughs> wow. He's trying to justify the fact that he went to the wrong movie. He's like, yeah, it was he bad. Was late. I didn't even have to see it. Yeah. No, I think you guys are right. It's because I watched the movie and then I watched the ten minutes. So I'm like, oh, it's like super obvious, but yeah. like, go you guys forehead. Said, <laughs> no, I, I, I know. But I, I don't know. You're right. It sets you up to like, oh, this is gonna be a crazy movie. At first, I legit thought I was gonna go into a, a scary ass movie. Well, when you watch the trailer, it seems more paranormal. Yes, just a normalized ghost movie. Yeah. yeah. Girl, what was your f least favorite part of Malignant? The CGI. It's valid. Yeah, it is valid. <laughs> I just didn't like how it looked. It took me out of the movie. I think so, too. But there's no Same, good way of making that, it look real. Yeah. With that fight scene in the end, it just was ridiculous. So Dude, I hated it, budget, but I also loved it. I really thought she died. It. Dude. That twist at the very end, though, I love that shit. Where yeah. he just blows the sister's brains out, and it's like, oh, malignant, no! And then yeah. it fucking... And then she's like, no, nah, you're trapped in my world, bitch. And then you I... find out it's actually, like, Naruto, where he has Karama behind the fucking thing, so he can exactly. off the chakra. Same like, thing. Like, this literally... It's I mean, the same thing. full Arthur, dude. She fucking... Full Arthur? <laughs> <laughs> he pulled her hand. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that cage. I don't know where that came from. What do you mean, dude? Because it isn't me. She's like, Ugh. yeah. When she was like fighting back and she's like controlling yeah. it, that was my least favorite part, though. I hated that. Arthur? Yeah. When she when she closes her fist yeah. and then she is like. Now we're in the Matrix, and you're stuck behind this Matrix jail. Yeah, you fucked, loser. Yeah, somehow like, this this means I got you. <laughs> yeah. I have the gun now. <laughs> um, I think that was my least favorite part, though. It's like, ugh, she put her in, like, fucking brain jail. Ugh. Trash. Fucking so shitty weird. end of this movie. Honestly, Malignant should have killed them all. And then killed himself. <laughs> Uh, dude, I thought she was. I think if she would have killed herself to kill Malignant, that'd have been dope. I also but then we wouldn't have a that. second movie. Well, yeah, we would never get to see Benign, but I'm okay with that <laughs> because now I have to see Benign, and I don't want to see Benign. <laughs> but like, Malignant made. Uh, well, I guess we're just calling him Malignant. 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 We're just calling him McNugget now. McNugget. Um, <laughs> don't do it, McNugget. That's your sister. 
but like I, I was saving you for last. It's like so you made smart decisions the whole time, except, except for, for this, this one, one time. The one where like in the beginning you knew you, you should have killed her. Like they were sleeping the in the same fucking born. house. <laughs> like he could have killed yeah, her. Yeah. Dumb, dumb, malignant, idiot. All the other times though, super smart, real smart dude. But also too, it's like. Why, when those cops were sitting there in the thing or whatever, totally could have transformed there and just rocked their also, world. Also, the and... crossfire was kind of oh, yeah. nuts, dude. They shouldn't have been crossfiring like I, that. I, I, I love that they're like, the shots are being fired! Yeah, by your own dudes. What the fuck? Yeah. Tell everybody to put your guns down. <laughs> they had no idea. But what are you, what are you going to do, though? Like, I'm shooting crazy if some monster I'm shooting myself! <laughs> I'm not going to let some malignant break my <laughs> arms, dude. And no one has an assault rifle in that fucking precinct. No, it's all it's all fucking single fire fucking revolvers. <laughs> she had a shotgun out of nowhere though. Yeah, she did pull that fucking shotgun out of nowhere. We didn't even talk about her. She was a whole nother can of worms though. She didn't she she was like these motherfucking white people are crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she didn't believe she was like, thing. so I'm gonna post this picture of blah 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 from the Goonies. Yeah. <laughs> that shit was so funny. She was funny. But that's also why they didn't solve the case right away, because she was, I mean, how could you believe that for sure? But, like, the whole no. time she's like, no, she's I'd just a like, killer. What the fuck you talking about? No, the minute she was like, now look, I had a dream, they killed this old white man in the building. They should have been like, she's legit. She knows what the fuck is going on, clearly. <laughs> or, which he thought, she's clearly the killer. <laughs> like, I mean, but yeah. she kind of was, though. <laughs> Yeah, she yeah, physically like how was. Did, how are they going to handle that? Like, the cops afterwards. <laughs> I mean, yeah. they're, they're putting that bitch in jail. She's, she's fucked, going to right? jail. <laughs> but, like, she has the powers now. They can't stop her. Oh, she's I mean, you're right. She could go the infamous route and go the bad guy route and just start fucking yeah. blasting fools. And then she'll I mean, get all yeah. the red powers instead of the blue one. Exactly. She's going to go straight red power. <laughs> All right, we got to go to the soccer game. So cinema score questions. We're just all going to wear it's a rapid fire. We're all going to go at once. Would we rent it? Fuck no. 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 Absolutely not. Uh, would you buy this movie physically? Yes. No. No. I'm looking it. for the steel book, dude. Fuck oh, it. my God. <laughs> so one half's her face, the other half's the other face. Just to build out your James Wan collection. That makes sense. Would sure. you buy it digitally? Maybe? No. 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 I mean, it's always going to be on HBO Max, and we're always going to have HBO Max. It's only streaming until October 10th. And then it's going to be another 30 back. days, and then the bitch is on there forever. <laughs> they do all come back. Would you buy yeah. this in the $5 bin at your local establishment? Yes. Only a Voodoo. I would. Maybe at Walmart, because, you know, there's some stuff that happens in this movie that maybe it's worth seeing again. <laughs> would you put this on in the background while people are over? 100 percent fuck it why not <laughs> no because it'd be so confusing I, for i'll rip my own copy I would. <laughs> and remove the first 10 minutes <laughs> <laughs> you'd be like uh what's his name what's what's the dude's name who played venom not tom hardy the other one uh topher grace yeah topher grace how he remade he recut all the star wars movies no, just do oh, that yeah, oh yeah, he he made a cut where it's like the best way to watch one, two, and three all at once. Huh. And so he like cherry picks the important parts of one and two, and then it's basically all of three. But yeah, look into it; it's kind of cool. I've never seen it, but I heard it's cool. I mean, I've seen the I've seen one, two, and three, so like. So you wasted your time. Yeah, and I haven't seen Star Wars movies since. <laughs> <laughs> Same. Would we recommend? Yeah. Yes. Yes. No. If you like wow. Resident like Evil, so you like watch this once. Yeah, the this Matrix. is even if you're just gonna get drunk while you're watching it, totally watch this movie. Fuck it, talk during the movie if you go to theaters, you know. Dude, we were talking during the movie the whole night last night, and it made it so much better. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. what the fuck's going on with their head? <laughs> oh, maybe crazy. that's why people. Maybe that's why they do it in the horror movies. Maybe it's a better experience, and we're just no. Out. Candyman was no. not a better experience with people no, talking through it. Yeah. All right, no. Oh my just god, gotta rewatch it really I don't quick. Know. Before we leave, we saw Shang Chi. Some dude literally was sleeping during it. Snoring. He's snoring. Louder than Bro, an IMAX. he was. <laughs> and so this chick turned around, put her fucking flashlight on, and was like, "Bro, wake up!" And he went. <laughs> oh God. He went. And then ten minutes later, he went. <laughs> and you could hear it over the IMAX like speakers. Dude, oh, the shit. fucking dragon woke up and was like, Rawr! and then you heard. 
And it was like, oh, Shang-Chi, take these rings. You've made it. I was like, oh, my God, dude. It was the worst. The movie was rad. That dude was the worst. He yeah, was I terrible. love that movie. Cool ass movie. Hard. Cool yeah. ass movie. Uh, they act. They know how to do action sequences. <laughs> this, I would argue, Malignant also knows how to do action sequences. I would also argue that. Though. No, not better. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. Let me have a five hundred million dollar budget. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you got Disney money, you better it was be able to do action sequences. Two hundred million. Sequence. All right. Okay. <laughs> Four hundred million when you do uh, marketing. True. Yeah, but this movie is also at probably a hundred million with marketing. No, no, it was a forty dollar or forty million dollar movie. It looked like a forty dollar movie. <laughs> it was a forty million dollar movie. So it's eighty. And you know, eighty percent of that went to James Wan. Yeah, it did all go to James Wan. Hundred <laughs> percent. He probably funded it himself. Yeah, he was like, "Fuck <laughs> it, I want the money at it." <laughs> all right, ratings. Does anybody have any good ones? No. Anybody else? No. I give this movie a seven skull splitting what the fucks is going on. <laughs> Are she cracking people elbows? Out of ten. Somebody else do the rating. I give it a seven out of ten Resident Evil reboots. God damn, this is weird. I thought Spiral was a weird fucking special. This is a this is a weird Resident Evil special, dude. Dude, the actual new Resident Evil that's gonna come out, I hope it's good though. It it's gonna it's gonna be kinda doo doo, but I'm excited for it. Uh, yeah. We gotta go to the soccer uh, game. Alex, James, do uh, your rating. Five out of ten. Oof. Um, Oof. I don't know what this movie wanted to be. That's, That's fair. Fair enough. It is fair. All right, girl, we're waiting on you. I give it seven dead cops out of ten. <laughs> Nice. I get there's it at least seven... 40 dead cops out of 40 for sure. I give it seven <laughs> fuck the 12s out of 10. <laughs> You're well, right. I was trying to You're figure right. out how many kids are in the Goonies because of that <laughs> what it was going to be, but I couldn't, like, I didn't know what the characters were. So, You're right. Um... Oh, my God. All right. Um, Is there anything good coming out next week or what? I mean, Eric said there's some bangers coming out, yeah, so. But... Yeah, but yeah. Eric's like, the farewell was a fucking masterpiece or whatever. <laughs> you guys I mean, it is a farewell. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> it's just not a blockbuster Y'all success. motherfuckers. <laughs> Oh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I, I don't know that we'll be... It's a surprise. Yeah, I mean, it always is a dude, surprise. Dude, if anything, basically. we can just go watch fucking Blue Bayou, dude. Come on. Well, I am not watching that movie. We have kids, Eric. So Venom comes out. Uh, fuck Venom, okay? That movie's gonna be trash. <laughs> what? That was October that... 1st, never mind. I was like, no, what the... <laughs> no, yeah, that movie's like two, three weeks away, but All right. I mean, I'm gonna watch it. I mean, All right, Cry gonna... Macho, then. It's a Clint Eastwood movie. We'll figure it out. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it in the group chat that everybody has access to. So if you're a fan, just check out the group chat. You'll find out when we're watching next. Do a vote down in the comments. Do uh, Join the Discord. discord Discord.gg slash sooner or later podcast. And get in on the conversation. We don't have a Discord. I mean, (laughs) we do have a Discord, but we don't have a Discord. (laughs) I mean, we totally could use that one for that purpose since we use this other one for other things now you know what i mean we would have to start posting on social media again and i don't feel like it so i mean someone quit their job you know yeah. someone did quit their job <laughs> someone did stop producing social media content <laughs> this is the second person too. to actually do it too oh yeah this job was <laughs> high turnover dude high <laughs> turnover real? rates nobody wants to do this job no which is cool i mean i didn't want to do the job either so i stopped producing fucking uh, uh, thumbnails. Facebook post. Yeah, no. yeah. I mean, I stopped doing that too. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what we see, and then we won't see what we won't see. Fuck it, we might review Shang Chi. We oh, since we've all seen yeah. it. Oh, okay. All right. Well, it looks like we have to go because we have to go to the soccer game. All right, everybody. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.